Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Samfix YouTube channel, and this is Poco X3 custom ROM reviews. Back with again new video, guys. This is Lineage OS version 21 with Android version 14. This is this is the latest update available for Poco X3 regarding Lineage OS. February 5th, 2024 is the security patch latest one. Windows security patch is based on June 1, 2023, and kernel user is 4.14.328. Lineage Penguin Edition kernel and build date is February 12th, which is latest build. This is and Lineage Surya user debug. This is the build number what I have, and this is typical home screen, whatever we get in this particular room. These are the quick settings toggles, as you can see on the screen. And these are the extra options what you get in the edit section. You also get some more options like location and dark theme. I'll add them extra dim. I don't add here. Yeah sync option is present here just drag and add them if you don't want do the vice versa and uh, that's it nothing more here these are the toggles what we get let me disable the location now because without using that you might get a little bit extra battery here there's a quick settings the smoothness in the ui is really good here as you can see there's a settings will close here and this is typical after what we get and settings panel as you can see it's themed here with blue color theming based on the wallpaper and this is the widget of music and if i press and hold here yeah this is already there here let's try in this screen yeah widgets again if we go into clocks here yeah this is yet to be downloaded here if you want you can add this and lock clock here yeah this is what the added clock already is present here and dialer is very unique here we can see this kind of dialer in shared thread also and it's present in lineage also as you can see direct video call feature is there here and even recording call also there uh, that it will not announce the other person that you are recording the call and into settings if i can see yeah, sound and vibration again you get audio format again you get aac and amr wp display options this you get here uh, phone number lookup calling accounts block numbers you can even block them unknown block also all calls from unidentified callers that you can do add a number if you want to block manually this is the dialer what we get and this is the messaging application and there is also a pre-installed browser what we can always see here in lineages kind of forms and this is the calgary what we get and this is the speed test what i run with Wi-Fi and there is a Geekbench result 753 single score and 1882 is the multi-score length 4.14.328 lineage penguin has been used there's a score 380 320 is the score there's a speed read write test and this is charging rapidly you guys can see here and this is the CTS profile match gets failed here and I want to show individually also within the app the Android benchmark results as you can see the app opening time here 3 lakh 80,320 is the score and temperature raise was around 3.3 degrees Celsius and 3 percentage of battery has been dropped during this and testing of uh, poco x using lineage s 21 edition based on and at footing is and DRAM information again you guys can see karna uh, and version of 14 and supported formats are given hrd hdr 10 plus is supported and level 1 certified no need to worry watching ott applications here and files manage file manager is implemented here fem radio is also implemented i am using this EGC camera here you guys can see you also get these options into the more settings you get all these options here select the uh, configs and libraries whatever you have lib files and watermark custom watermark is also there here then setting other things this is my current favorite lg cam for poco x3 slash nfc for those links you can join my uh, dedicated whatsapp group if you can find out anywhere else you can download them and use the agc camera and i will be giving the link in the description of this separate whatsapp group for this poco x3 slash nfc for some reason echo battery i haven't turned on maybe yeah let's turn on now you will get some idea here yeah don't optimize still it's not showing out health history yeah Daily. 
charging anyhow these are the results what i got with this echo battery here uh, 33 watt charging support is there here and this is the apps what i use even music application is pre-installed here google lives on that and this is app active status as you can see some reason i haven't seen some notifications regarding echo battery and this is how the settings panel and this is the home screen and these are the recent apps and there's a quick settings trouble as you can see the smoothness in the ui is very very quick and fast here very responsive very good in my opinion this is the first build of uh, android 14 based on this lineage OS case and i also get this audio effects uh, direct sound settings using 3.5 m headphone jack you can use this kind of earphones or some other earphones uh, you can tweak a little bit better using this application and let's move into settings here nothing more here accessibility menu is there yeah just enable that without actually using the physical buttons you can actually turn up turn on the volume and other settings also you can do that's the handy feature here color and motion again display size and text keep this is because initially it was very much tiny here let me increase this one hence now it is better that's the uh, good thing here and flash notification this is an android 14 pages you should definitely try it out if you want that audio adjustment again if you want good sound from uh, left and right uh, stereo speakers you can adjust that based upon this if you want completely mono audio you can enable that from here hearing devices and other things you can customize it these are handy features in my opinion and security and privacy again screen unlock only pattern there is no physical fingerprint scanner here as of now as of now you won't even get a face unlock or anything options here extend lock is there encryption it is encrypted by default anyhow but there is no face unlock or fingerprint unlock that's the big thing for many of things uh, that's missing here maybe many of the people don't like it that's the thing missing simply here colors option again you get these three and a live display options again you get this color calibration of all your strength and picture adjustment you can actually increase the saturation for example i can increase it and contrast little bit of contrast here yeah now okay now this is how display looks like dark theme implementation in pure black condition is there you already seen the screenshots of some of the results and i'll come back here and regarding display again it remains very similar here battery if i can show you usage yeah this is the battery usage and you also get some other tools charging control if you want to control the charging you can do that battery saver again turn off at 90 percent you can enable or disable battery light battery widget again this is android 14 kind of style nothing more here into wallpaper sound style again in the lock screen you get this customization no no as of now it doesn't add it here home screen change wallpapers again you get this pre-installed wallpapers nothing else here it remains same in the system you get system profiles and buttons there are some customizations status bar again system icons and other things you can check it out here and gestures again on ended mode is available and navigation mode gesture navigation again left right it's no option to increase the length or radius of it just these are the customizations of what you get what i can say is the ui is very much smooth and responsive but safety and status could have been get passed by default and let's check out the bgma what are the graphic settings we get and how we handle in this particular rom and you also don't get any option to increase high fps count in the settings you get just 40 fps here uh, smooth plus ultra uh, nothing more this is not a gaming rom or anything like that guys as you can see there are some stats also but in day to day usage i haven't faced any issues actually yeah fine but it's not capable enough to get good fps here but if you use magic models you can but i don't recommend that 
because we have many other ROMs similar to this you can get Octavio OS or CR Drive or even Arrow OS also very soon coming with Android 14 actually okay we'll come back here this is the gaming experience and everything is working fine just this safety net status could have been passed by default now uh, maybe in upcoming build that have been going to fix maybe that is going to be fixed that's the thing i can look out for this particular rom you also get this animation for clock here other than that i haven't seen any animation here uh, that's the lineage OS case for poco x slash nfc again you can check out my videos in the uh, this playlist regarding poco x3 there are plenty many plenty of videos i have already made regarding this poco x guys this is the latest version of lineages and this is the first build of android 14 we'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keep smiling bye bye for now